Yeah, it hasn't been a bad week for yourself. Three goals and, and three ones, I'm sure you'll take that. Yeah, more importantly, with the one today, um, it, all comes, it all comes down to us beating the teams down around that. By the way, you're off the penalty, can you bam? Um, we need to beat them teams down around us. Um, or at the bottom of the table, sorry. Um, if, we, if we want to progress, obviously, we're coming into two big games as well, Crusaders and Lumpfield, um, and it's good to go in a bit of confidence now. Uh -huh. I suppose that's key, they eh? picked up three points in the cruise of jobs, so we cut the gap on them at the top of the table. Exactly, the game now going to save you means a bit of, and it gives us a bit of confidence going up the road, we take another scalp at them, and we need to put in an even bigger performance than we put in here a few weeks ago, and hopefully it all works out for us. It was a bit of a shuffle today, you were back in the centre midfield, did you, did you enjoy that in there? Today? Well, Jar Aaron Jarvis took up a bit of an injury during the week, and I think Aaron just wanted to give him a wee bit of a rest because it was three games in a week. Um, but wherever he asks you to play, I'll play. Uh -huh. I've played centre midfield last year, I've played left wing this year, I've played left back. It's, <laughs> if he asks you to play there, you play because you know everyone on the team knows everyone else's job to do, and I have no problem slapping them. And uh, it's been quite a perfect season for you already. You've had a number of goals, a number of assists. You must be pleased with how you're doing. Well, I've set myself a few individual targets at the start of the season, um, and I'm well on my way towards that. And I just want to keep kicking on every game and building up that confidence. And it's working at the minute, so long may I continue for myself. And as you say, with these games today, against Warren Point, they came here with a game plan today, five at the back, and it was always going to take a wee something to break them down. Yeah, well, last week against Dungannon, they came, they went to Dung or they had Dungannon, and. They got their first one of the season. Um, they went in half time as well, 2 0 down, and we went in the gap today as well. And the warning in half time from Warren was we don't let what happened to Ungannon happen to us this week. No, no disrespect to Ungannon, but we have our own targets and we need to beat teams like that if we want to, if we want to progress, and we have got the one today. So. Well, it's a mouthwater and tie next week, all about CV. You obviously had a 4 2 1 down here last month. You have a hope for someone similar next week? Yeah, well. There's a lot lying on it, even though it's early in the season, it has built up to be a big game because you don't want any gaps, you don't want to fall away from the top of the table and that's, that was the message all day, was just to stay in touch with the top of the table and we've done that today, we've done our bit, we can't, work, we can't dictate what goes on elsewhere but we've done that today. Well, it's such a tight league, those games between those teams at the top is going to be crucial. Sort of. They are, looking back at the end of the season that'll be the games, whoever does win the league or it'll be the teams that have beat the teams around them up to the top and it's, you have to embrace those games and you have to look forward to those games so we will be going into the next two games with high confidence especially with the form around at the moment.